He was 12 to 16. Sabonis with 20. Brogdon with 19. Let's hear from Frank Vogel. We speak with Mike in the media. Frank, leading by four going into that fourth quarter, what did you see the difference in the final period? Well, they got red hot, and um, you know we couldn't rebound the ball, and you know they, they knocked down some threes that separated the game. You know we had some uh, some possessions where we didn't move the ball well enough, um, and attacked the paint well enough, but you know it's one of those things. I'll go back and look at the tape and see where things really went wrong, but um, you know wasn't enough in the fourth. What's the level of frustration, especially coming off a game where you play well and, and beat Utah, and, and having this this uh, happen again? We you, you know one game up, one game down. Yeah, very frustrating. You know, but it's a long season, and uh, you know we believe in our group. But this is this is definitely a disappointing loss. You know, Andy is a, a team sub 500 that uh, on our home court. You know, we f we feel like we should win, and you got to win the games you feel like you should win. So, disappointing loss. Frank, you um, opted to go uh, with Russ on the bench at the end of the game. What were you what, 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 were, what were you looking for there? What was the thinking behind that behind that choice? Yeah, playing the guys I thought were going to win the game. Well, we didn't win the, the rebounding battle, and um, you know our guards not coming back. Those three guys did rebound, but our guards didn't come back and rebound uh, well enough all night. And um, you know I think that had an impact on on the offensive end. You know we didn't secure any rebounds, so we're taking the ball out of the basket every time, and uh, and walking it up. You know. We're at, at our best when we gang rebound and get out and run the floor. Coach, is that, is that the trade-off when you're going small where you just have to accept you're probably not going to win the rebound battle? No. You don't accept that? No. So what do you do? If you commit to hitting people, you win the rebounding battle. And we're not committed to hitting people. Uh, Frank, you know, after that Denver loss, you kind of told us that it's tough not seeing the results. I mean, have, have these last few losses felt more consequential in any way than than any of the other losses you've taken throughout the season? Honestly, every loss feels the same to me. You know, uh, you pour your heart and, and soul into it, and uh, you prepare your team, and, you know, you go to battle. And you lose the f first, second game of the year, you lose this one, still, still a loss. Frank, a, a loss like this, like you said, to a sub-500 team, the responsibility falls on who? The coaches, players, everyone involved in this? Yeah, you answered the question. It's everyone. It's all of us. We got to coach player better. They got to play better. Um, you know, everything has to be better. Got to execute. The effort, focus. Um, everyone. Frank, how do you view this six-game road trip, considering where your team stands right now? One game at a time. Learn from this one. Um, hopefully, you know the old adage that nothing's more motivating than a loss. Hopefully that sends us off, you know, motivated to start to trip strong. One more last question on Zoom. Nathan on Zoom. Uh, hey, Coach. Uh, with the mistakes that you had tonight, uh, how do you uh, prepare to bounce back against the Orlando or Magic? Yeah, we have the same process after wins or losses. You know, we, uh, we watch the film. We find ways to reinforce good habits. I think, you know, find out where we went wrong. And we work with our team on that in film sessions or walkthroughs when we have a chance to touch the court. And that'll be the same for this, uh, you know, finishing this game and going into Orlando. Uh, 